Welcome to Cebu Fiske Industry, situated in the north of Jutland in Denmark, where you're now taken to one of the most modern mackerel canning industries in the world, a company of visions. We're starting off in one of Cebu's amazing freezing stores. That means among some 12,000 tons of single frozen mackerel. The mackerels caught from September through December and immediately frozen as round fish to avoid any deterioration before being processed, which in turn takes place throughout the year. The mackerel is transported from the minus 35 degrees freezing store directly to the processing lines where initial thawing of the round fish takes place. Every year, 20,000 tons of mackerel pass through this conveyor. After skinning, the mackerel's ready to enter the extremely sophisticated cooking process. Cebu's the only company in the world which uses microwave tunnel ovens for cooking. The mackerel's cooked in its own juice, leaving it very tender, juicy and extremely tasteful. The mackerel keeps moving all the time and now enters the filleting station where the skill of filleting is demonstrated excellently by each and every pair of hands. To most of us, having just a little of this skill would be perfect in the fish restaurant. We'd probably order a lot more fish if it were that easy. Here, the skill includes removing the bones with as little meat attached as possible and placing the fillets accurately on the portioning conveyor. The freshly cooked fillets are now immediately being canned automatically. The leftovers from the filleting line are collected by a transport system below the filleting stations and are taken to the Alpha Laval oil recovery plant. The canned mackerel is quickly transported to be added oil or delicious sauces depending on the different export markets. This is a very important step in the process because here the mackerel is given the taste which is typical to the specific mackerel brand. Let's go back and follow the leftovers, bones, small lumps of meat and even some free oil. What a waste not to use it. Collected beneath the filleting stations, the leftovers end up on a rubber belt, taking them through a metal detection station directly into the mincer, which makes sure that a smooth and fine fish mass is obtained. The mince is now easily pumped to the continuously working Alpha Laval Condec plant, which processes 11 tons of mackerel filleting waste per day. The fish mass first passes the special Contherm scrape surface heater, where it's heated by indirect steam for approximately one and a half minutes. Due to the small particle sizes and the rotating surface cleaning blades inside the Contherm, the fish mass is heated extremely uniformly, allowing the oil to escape the protein. The heated fish mass is led to the Alpha Laval two-phase decanter centrifuge, which separates the liquids from the solids. The still warm and fresh solids leaving the decanter centrifuge contain as little as 4% of oil, and the nutritional value is extremely high, simply due to the fact that the fish has been heated very gently during the entire process. The solids are frozen in a plate freezer together with the de-oiled stick water and the frozen blocks easily meet the high nutritional demands from the pet food and the fur animal industries. 
The process liquid leaving the decanter centrifuge is pumped to a disc stack separator where it's separated into mackerel oil and stick water which is frozen as mentioned previously. The oil leaving the separators of very high quality with very low free fatty acid content and a high omega-3 fatty acid content. Each day, the oil is carefully analyzed for free fatty acid content, peroxide values, and unsaponificable matters. And every day, the lab is extremely satisfied with the results. So satisfied, in fact, that it's seriously being considered to bring the oil back into the production, most probably into the mackerel cans. But extensive testing must be done first. Here are the features of the Alpha Laval oil recovery plant. Extremely compact plant, hygienic processing conditions, quick start-up and shutdown times, and a high degree of automation. Here are the benefits of the Alpha Laval oil recovery plant. Continuously processing of filleting waste, filleting waste upgraded into two valuable products, environmentally neutral processing plants, very low labor demand. <laughs>